Hello, beautiful. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am fantastic. Well, congratulations on the release of your new EP. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am so excited to check in with you. So for everyone that's joining this live with us, uh, this is Sia Moon. She just dropped her new EP. It is called Bedroom Sessions Volume 2. Yeah. I'm so excited because, of course, when I saw Volume 2, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Let's bump down memory lane and go back to Volume <laughs> 1, which uh, really, really got me excited. The last time we talked to us earlier in 2020, you had dropped Ready for Love. Yep. And like you giving me all the nostalgia. I was like so pumped. The album is just still one of my favorites on my playlist on a regular Yay. basis. So uh, I'm excited to talk to you about uh, Bedroom Sessions uh, Volume 2. It's the EP. It's the mm -hmm. intro and it's four hot tracks. You get right to yeah. it. Um, so talk to us about um, the process and preparing to drop your EP that is just uh, blowing up. I mean, people are playing it and talking about it. As you can see, you got your, your loves jumping in and commenting. I, see I know. I'm so overjoyed. It's so funny because you never know. And I think I talked to you about this when we, you know, talked about um, Ready for Love. But you never know how people are going to receive the music. So the whole process it's interesting. I wear so many different hats. So I'm like the artist, right? And I'm writing all the songs and it's fun. That's the fun part. And then it's like, okay, so now I got to like make this make sense. You know, I got to like make it make sense. I recorded about 12 songs and I kept cutting it down. Like, no, I didn't want it to be a full album. Volume one only had, I think, six songs. Mm -hmm. So I was mm -hmm. like, let me cut it down. So then we got it down to six songs. And then I still was just like, no, some of the songs weren't ready. And I'm just like, let me just put it out, you know, because if I wait any longer, it just probably wasn't going to happen. And people have been hitting me about it for a long time. Like, where's volume two? Where's volume two? Um, and it was a long process. I don't know why it took me so long to do this one. Um, but it did take me a little while and I'm just happy that it's done. We got it down to four songs and I, I love all four songs. I think that the four songs like sum up the point in what I was trying to. Oh, it's straight to the point where <laughs> I intro. I was like, oh, okay. Sis is giving me life about mm -hmm. these, uh, these likes on my photos. Like, this was, like, <laughs> like it was. It was really electric for me because I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's how I feel when I'm right. attention that I want from the right person. <laughs> right. He liking all my pictures. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you talked about wearing many hats. So let's explore that a little bit. The mm -hmm. official video for Knocking the Boots has dropped mm -hmm. and you co-directed this video. Uh, let's talk about the process and just um, it, it, it seems like a very vulnerable video, mm -hmm. very sexy. Mm -hmm. um, so talk about that creative process. So first, I feel like I'm just in a vulnerable state in general, even from when I did. That's what Ready for Love was, me mm -hmm. stepping into that whole phase. Um, but shout out to my girl, Nikki. That's who is shooting all my videos and who um, I partner with to just get get everything done. And um, I love working with her because we both have the same, like, eye. You know, like, mm -hmm. I'll come up with an idea and she'll be like, oh, yeah, I see that. And then we'll just, like, keep expanding on this very, very small, tiny idea. Um, I went to Mexico for my birthday in January. And I was like, I want to shoot the video in Mexico. I didn't have, like, a set concept or what I wanted to do. I wasn't even sure what song. I was just like, we need to shoot a video in Mexico. Okay. And um, while we were out there, I was like, well, let's just do Knocking the Boots. I think that's going to be the leading song. It's my favorite one so far. And we shot a bunch of footage. We shot so much footage. We shot like four different looks, different locations. And it was just kind of like too much footage. And so when we came back and we're going through everything, I'm like, okay, this doesn't make sense. You know, like we got a bunch of dope stuff. I look good, but we want to still tell a story and we still want it to, you know, make sense with the record and everything. So um, we actually finished shooting the the video in my bedroom and we used this, the shots. I don't know if you've seen the video yet, but um, I have mm -hmm. like the, the scenes with me in the jacket. We did all that in Mexico. So okay. it just made sense. Um, and it's an interesting process, but it's so fun. You know, it's fun to literally like, have nothing and make something you know mm -hmm. like to 
we didn't even have a concept. We're just like, let's shoot and let's figure it out. And in the end, it comes out, you know? I think, but I think when I looked at the video, I thought to myself, it just looks so serene. It looked very calming. Like you was just comfortable in your skin. Yeah. And I think that was um, definitely what, what I took away from the video. Mm -hmm. So I don't, well, so what was your thought? Like when y'all finished the video, creatively you got everything in there that you wanted yeah. all of the shots narrowed down what was your feeling uh looking at the final video um I was just proud and it's for the same thing that you just said honestly like a lot of the times like as entertainers we're able to mask all of our like insecurities and stuff behind all of the music and all of the glitz and you know all that stuff but um I really wanted to get to a place or I've just been working to get to a place where I'm so comfortable in my own skin and just so happy with who I am and proud and not like feeling like I have to hide or be kind of like, you know, and I'm always like promoting like keeping your clothes on and you don't got to be like super naked da, 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 da. and a lot of that too like I do believe that and a lot of that too is because of certain insecurities that I've had so yeah. it's like I have to stay covered up I don't want to and I'm just at a point in my life where I'm just like yo I'm grown I'm a woman like I want to embrace my body I want to feel good I, I don't want to feel like I have to hide you know and that's really what this video like what I wanted to do and looking back, like so many little parts, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to put some clothes on. <laughs> but no, I look, um, I was actually very proud. And it just makes me feel that same way that you said that you felt. It's just like, I feel like at peace with it. And I'm just like, yeah, like, let's go. Can we normalize changing our mind though? Yeah. Just yeah. Normalize that, like, yeah. I we all go through those moments where we want to be covered up or we and that's okay whether you want to be covered up or you want to or live. you want to yes it doesn't matter yeah and I think I think it's okay like you know sometimes I look at other folks social media and I'm like damn would I just be out here with my cheeks <laughs> <laughs> right but, you know if I took a bomb ass photo and my cheeks was out I might post. then right right <laughs> and it's just like live your best life and that's honestly how I feel I feel like we go so long just like living under other people's opinions and what we think and all this shit and I'm just like yo I'm gonna just do what I feel and what I want to do and to the best of my ability you know and I love it I love like this place where I'm at it's just such a peaceful place and I just want to like revel in this space, you know? Yeah, so, I feel, yeah. I feel like you captured that. One of the things that I have enjoyed about um, your music and digesting it and listening to it as I move around the house or I'm driving in my car is that it gives me a bit of nostalgia, mm -hmm. but like not too much where I want to like go listen to another song. Right, right. After I'm like, oh, yeah, it's like that's the essence yeah. of the, the mood or the feel or the energy. And so, of course, with the name play, you gave us uh, Anytime, Anyplace. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, owe it to Janet Jackson. Yeah. So I was like, yes. So um, has Janet been a huge um, influence uh, to you? And just talk about Janet. Uh, we could talk about H-Town. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, how has, of course, we know who your father is. Yeah. But how, how has, um, I would say, 90s R&B uh, influence your current sound? I'm a 90s baby, so it is just who I am. You know, it's just who I am. Um, my dad was Michael Jackson in high school, elementary, however, <laughs> he just, I, everything growing up was like, Janet, 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 you gotta be like Janet, you gotta, <laughs> and um, so I've just always loved and admired her. I mean, who can't? She's the best. Um, but that record in particular is just one of my favorite Janet songs. I'm like, yo, this is like, I don't know, to me, it just was like, this is underrated. I'm sure like back then I was so young when it came out. So I'm sure it's what? not underrated, but I'm like, yo, people sleeping on Janet. <laughs> oh, I just thought it would be perfect for this project too. That's actually the first song that we recorded and that mm -hmm. we did for this project. And I kind of used that to kind of set the tone. Like, okay, where am I going from here? So we got, 
I, I got this guy that I like, you know, he like in my pictures. This is how I feel about him. Anytime, any place, we could do it anywhere to knocking the boots, you know, from knocking the boots to I want it right now. And then after that, you know how, how guys get, they stop answering their phone. You got it's like, yo, I'm gonna have to pop up on that ass. <laughs> See what's going on, you know, you ain't answering. So I just really wanted to tell a story and um, both, Janet H Town, Joda C, SWV, like all Usher, like that that time was just the best time, and that's the music that makes me feel good. So that's where I'm pulling from right now. Well, you are doing a fantastic job. We just wanted Thank to come in and say congratulations on your Thank new you project. Thank you so much. Uh, the EP is out. Download it, stream it, listen to it. It is so good. Bedroom Sessions Volume Two. Um, go back and listen to Ready for Love. Go back yes. and listen to Volume One. Yes. And um, just enjoy some good R&B soul. It, it, it really is feel-good uh, music. So for, for the fan that is hopping on this live and they are like, oh my gosh, I haven't had time to download it. Um, and I guess uh, give us your elevator pitch on um, why they need to listen to all your shit. New, old, what's dropped last night at midnight, everything. Give us the whole spill. So y'all just got to go and check it out and listen to your favorite girl because the music is good. It's good music. Um, and I'm just stepping outside of a box. You know, I feel like it's relatable. Everybody, females in particular, like I'm really writing music for us and just a perspective on us being able to speak our mind and say how we feel. Um, and it's just great music. And why not? You know, you can find it everywhere. Um, Bedroom Sessions Volume 2, or all my music really is available everywhere on all digital platforms. The video is out for Knocking the Boots right now on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have a lot of visuals coming out, a lot of video stuff. So definitely want to, you know, keep you guys updated on all of that. Um, let me see. You can subscribe to my um, mailing list on my website at siamu.com. And that literally, I'm always sending out stuff and keeping everybody updated on everything, like not even just music stuff, like stuff with my merch, stuff with just whatever I have going on, shows, stuff like this, the interviews. So make sure you guys subscribe to both my YouTube and my website. And yeah, it's your Damn. favorite girl. Are we going to see you back on television anytime soon? What's happening with that? So um, the crazy thing is Love & Hip Hop hasn't even filmed at all. So but, they didn't even film at all last year. They didn't film, um, at least in L.A. Um, mm -hmm. So we kind of don't really know. Um, so I can't, I don't want to even speak too prematurely on it. Um, but I know production is supposed to start, but it keeps supposed to start. <laughs> so we don't know. The pandemic kind of really um shut a lot of stuff down as far as productions and stuff go um in la so we just kind of have to wait and see well the pandemic did not stop the music girl no it didn't, it didn't. <laughs> so the new ep is out bedroom sessions volume two sia amun we are going to stay connected with you we're going to continue to support you and we're just really excited and congratulations to you so again just a little quick pop in and say hey boo hey <laughs> to let everybody know that uh, they need to go download it. It is really, really good. I listened to it quite a few times. And Thank I was you like, so you know, the midnight drop is always fun because it builds anticipation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just like, all right, I'm, I'm going to wait. <laughs> and then I got it and I was like, oh, yes. Thank yeah. you. Girl, it's pandemic energy. It's all of that. It's when right. it's pandemic, but even more so when it's the pandemic and you limited. Right. Limited on them uh, ride buys, drive. Right. And that's really how I felt. Like, dang, I just want somebody to be in here rubbing on my booty or something. Like, let me just sing about, <laughs> Pretty much. you know, let me just sing about love and all this stuff. And I just, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just as much as they love rubbing on our booties, we like our booties getting rubbed. Yes. Up. Yes. <laughs> well, thank, thank you so much. You have a good rest of your day. And of course, I'll keep in contact and let us know anything else you got going on, new merch, um, the next EP, all of that. We're going to continue to um, definitely showcase your work. So thank you so much. Thank you. I will. I'll keep you guys posted. All right. Thank you. Bye.